Hi there, it's Jeff here with a quick run through of some advice for those of you taking Edexcel Economics Paper 3. Now this is a two hour paper for those without extra time and there are two daily response questions within Paper 3, both of which are compulsory, although you do get a choice in the final essay section on both questions. So you get an essay question choice twice in the exam. Now it's marked out of 100, each daily response paper is out of 50, but the paper weighting is actually 30%. So if you finish paper 1 and paper 2, you've already done 70% of available. Each question, and there are two, has 5, 8, 12 and 25 mark questions. So they've taken out the 10 and the 15 from the daily response and replaced with a synoptic 25 mark essay style question. Now that essay style question, we'll go through in a minute, requires you to analyse and evaluate one micro and one macro point. Uh, advice from the last few years is really worth reading. Uh, students are typically writing too much for the five and the eight mark questions. The booklet gives you lots of space and perhaps you, people think you have to use it all. Don't write too much for the five and the eight mark. You need to give yourself time to write those two 25 mark essays. Now, use of the context provided in each question is vital for all questions, including the 25 mark one. For the five mark questions, you must include two pieces of data to get those two application marks. Don't drop a mark by just having one piece of data. Two pieces of data, please, in the answer. Eight marks, well, it's points-based marking, so you need to write uh, two, uh, two, uh, two uh, KA points, Maybe one evaluation point if you want to develop it a bit further. But it's two for application, two for analysis, two for knowledge, and two for evaluation. Don't write too much in the eight mark question. In the 12 mark question, you need to produce two KA points and two evaluation points, and you need to go beyond just two links or two steps in the chain of reasoning. Look to produce at least three links if you can. Critically, you will need to evaluate in the eight the 12 and the 25 mark questions. Let's take one example. This was the 2022 paper or question on food delivery and uh, restaurants and things. So the question 1A, explain one externality. Well, you need two data points for that, but no evaluation. However, oh, so here we go. Yeah, look, notice here, it's saying in each of them, using the information provided with reference to extract B, with reference to extract C. What I would do in the exam is I would underline when you are using applications, simply saying a figure one shows or extract B shows. Underline extract B to highlight to the examiner, to flag to your marker that you're trying to get the application marks. Now for the eight mark question, examine does mean evaluate. You'll need two application points. You must have some uh, evaluation. Uh, and uh, that was an interesting question. Pricing elastic, income elastic. Two key terms need to be defined, uh, defined in the answer using the data. Uh, for the 12 mark question, again, it says likely effects of increased integration within the food delivery market. Mergers and takeovers, for example. So you need two separate KA points with at least three links in the chain of reasoning, two relatively short evaluation points. You'll definitely definitely need one diagram in your answer. So look, perhaps for an example, it comes of scale, for example, or monopoly diagram. You'll need some diagrammatic work there. Now, notice that the first question here is broadly speaking micro. Uh, therefore, question B, the other data response, is broadly speaking macro. It doesn't have to be. But that's the way it normally is. And then you get to the 25 markers. Evaluate the micro and macroeconomic effects, this time of a fall in the pound. Refer to restaurants or other food delivery services in your answer. So you must use the extracts. You must use the context to help get those application marks. But wider knowledge can certainly be used. Diagram. Or diagrams essential, uh, build them into your analysis and evaluation. And again, the, the next one, you have a choice obviously here, evaluate the micro and macro effects of a significant increase in the minimum wage. Now notice the word there, significant increase. Again, refer to restaurants or other food delivery services. The best answers here, in terms of the analysis and evaluation, would use more complex cost and revenue curve analysis and also for the macro side, ADAS analysis to build into their answers. So you have two of those. Uh, that will be question one, and then there'll be another question two with the same structure. 
Uh, as I said, question one is likely to be mainly micro at the start, question two mainly macro, but you have a choice of synoptic questions. Now, the 25 mark questions, there are two of these, worth remembering that they're worth half of the exam, so therefore worth 15% of your A-level. So you must give yourself time, please, to get that second 25 mark. A lot of students scrambling to get to the last question and maybe only writing half an answer. Please be absolutely ruthless. Be relentless on timing. You must give yourself 30 minutes for the last 25 marker. Now, those questions in the synoptic can be about micro and macro, obviously, <laughs> but it can be about causes or influences, effects or impact, consequences, and policies, or they might use the word strategy. So you need to prepare for each aspect. And we've produced some videos working through some examples just in the last few days of micro and micro macro aspects of particular topics, ranging from business profits to falls in the exchange rate and other factors, lots of things, the higher interest rates, for example. So be, be careful to read the key word, cause, effect, policy. You need to write a five paragraph answer with at least one diagram. You must use the context to get the application marks. And you only have to make one micro KA point evaluated and one macro KA point evaluated. So it's better to go for one on one with a final judgment. And the final paragraph can be, for example, considering which cause or effect or policy might be most significant in either the short term or the long term. Uh, to help you, a lot of students do find it hard to think of what, what shall I write about on the micro side? What shall I include on the macro side? So for micro or prices, output, profits, structure of the market, inefficiency or efficiency, competition or contestability, anything to do with labour markets or market failure and externalities, all of that would be micro. And of course, there's loads of diagrams you can use to help you there. Whereas macro, you can't go wrong if you go back to your macro objectives, inflation, growth, unemployment, trade, development, uh, inequality, and of course, the government's fiscal balance. So maybe, if you haven't already used it, Popsicle and Digestive could be a useful way of thinking about micro macro points. The best way is to go through some videos to see what we came up with in our revision blasts. So gen uh, general thoughts ahead of the paper. There's no new material for, to be revised. If you revise paper one, paper two, you're in great shape. You've done the revision, just need to go over it again. No new material needs to be revised for this paper. Please, can I emphasize this? Please put the data from the extracts, the charts, the tables into your answer. You cannot get to higher levels without application ever. <laughs> Avoid generic evaluation. That won't get any marks. Time lags, it depends if it's big. That's not evaluation. There's no, there's no marks for saying that. Evaluation isn't about destroying your previous KA point. It's about unpicking the assumptions. It's about using the data and the extracts. It's about thinking of the wider context to support your point. And when it comes to the final judgments in that, those 25 markers, is it more significant for micro than macro or the other way? Or if you change the assumptions, my, my analysis was based on Keteris Paribus, but if the assumptions change, then the chain of analysis doesn't necessarily hold anymore for example. So the final conclusion, don't have to repeat yourself, just try and think of which, which point is most significant and why, or is there a short-term, long-term dynamic to your answer. Go well. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section of this video, and I'll do my best to answer them ahead of uh, the paper. But go well. Enjoy the challenge of writing a final paper in economics. We're with you all the way, so stay healthy, stay happy, stay curious, and hopefully see you sometime soon.